Hey guys, so today we are just going to learn how we can create a data feed for the Google Merchant Center account which we need for a Google Shopping campaign. Okay, so you just have to log in, in the account, click on feeds and then click on plus data feed. Click on standard, feed type has to be products and then target country should be Australia. That's what I'm selecting. You can select a different target country as per your requirement. Let's name it new. Click on continue. Choose the first option for Google Sheets, the easiest option. Click on continue again and then just click on save. Okay, so you'll be asked just to provide the permission. Click on allow and then the feed will be saved which is just taking a while not more than five seconds here we are okay so we have got the sheet here which is new let's click on the feed and then click on edit spreadsheet okay so now google just provide us a template a basic template with eight attributes starting with id title description link condition price availability and image link and these are the necessary eight attributes which we need to provide Apart from that, we also have uh, some links here. We can just open up these links in new tabs just to understand the feed and just to, you know, in case we stuck with something, in case we don't know what attributes we need to apply. Okay, let's come back and then delete these links from here. Okay, now starting with the first one, which is ID, which is just the basic information about your product. So let's call it ABC. It has to be the unique ID for each and every product title has to be the product name let's call it blue shoes description any short description about the product let's call it a pair of new shoes now link has to be the uh, link of the page on which that product is available okay so let's call it www.example.com forward slash shoes now condition so we have three conditions here one is new another one is used and third one is refurbished so you just have to apply one information for one product let's call it new this time prices any prices for the product let's call it 50 availability so you have two available options here which you can normally choose in stock or out of stock let's call it in stock image link this has to be the link of your exact image available on your website so let's call it www.example.com forward slash image dot jpg that's the format of the image now apart from that you just need to have one more feed attribute which is product identifier so normally we have three product identifiers available in the feed I'm just going to show you what product identifier means. So ideally you need to have unique product identifiers and then you need to have two out of these three unique identifiers. Starting with GTIN which is global trade identification number, MPN which is manufacturer part number and the third one is brand. Now the best part is if you don't have any of these three identifiers all you have to do come back to the feed just write identifier space exist and then put the value false for each and every product now now you have got nine attributes here starting from id now you just need to define one more attribute which is shipping now what you can do you can either define shipping in the google feed or you can also define shipping in the settings tab of the merchant center for that you have to go in settings go in shipping click on that and then click on plus new shipping method so right now so your account will be like that click on plus shipping method shipping method name should be new just for one single rate and then average average delivery speed that has to be three days amount in AUD Australian dollar let's say two dollar and then click on save okay so that's the best part just to define shipping here in the account otherwise if you don't like to define shipping here then you can also define shipping in the merchant center and then with some